Yeah. <laughs> is it really dark? Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, I'm wearing all white today. That does not mean that I'm pure. But we also know somebody else will, let's just say, pure at heart. Hmm. Well, Wiener, Wiener, looks like he may just resign. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. It really is. And Dow collapses on the fall of the Greek government to be forced out by union riots. Oh, don't worry, though, because uh, actually leapfrog Obama to the uh, rescue. The market has regained everything it lost on the great economic data. Uh, we're at one point. Uh, we're at one point nine percent. One point three percent economic growth for the year. Great data. The all of the department store retail chains have are declared ba uh, bad sales. Uh, market orders are down. Businesses aren't hiring. But Lee Crock Obama said that we're responsible for making this economy as good as it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Biden confident more than one trillion in deficit cuts. Defense cuts and um, and higher taxes make up the cuts. Okay, well that's right. We asked the to both folks. The Republicans are not going to pass tax hikes. You know what they're going to do? They're going to try to call them revenue enhancements. They're not going to, if they vote to raise taxes to get Obama off the hook, they're going to throw their rear ends out of office. It's just, they're waiting to toss these people out. And they can't get, okay, they cannot get more than 50% uh, of the Democrats to go along with any cuts whatsoever. So they said, we need the Republicans to sign on to these revenue enhancements. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. They get it done in the Senate, but the House, they're going to just simply let a default happen because of the fact that they can't get Obama and the Democrats don't take it seriously. And Boehner pressures Obama on Libya operation. Yep, they uh the guy, I love this, I don't have to report to you. He basically, remember how he basically has total contempt for the laws of this nation? Uh -huh. uh, we're not, we don't have troops on the ground. And they said, uh, here's one of this person, here's one of the guys in the Senate. He really, the four, basically they were blanking him out when he was in the Marine Corps. So he has a very, he, he pointed out the fact. Well, somebody should tell the blankety blank that he's spending the blankety blank money. We have oversight on the blankety blankety blank money being spent, and we can just shut you know shut his spending down. He doesn't want to talk to us, but we can teach the blankety blank blank. And they're going a lesson. That's on the floor of the Senate uh, House Representative. Ooh. He was unhappy. They're going to. They said the 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 Democrats are suing him in court over Libya. Oh, really? The Democrats are in court saying he's violated the law. But every colder's on his side. They didn't violate the law because there's no boots on the ground. But there's boots all over the ground. Ah. This is how they target things. Our soldiers are there. And they know they're there. But uh, what, what what do they mean by boots on the ground again? Uh, if your foot is sitting on the ground, you're there. That sounds pretty good. We're paying seventy five percent of all of the cost. And uh, and he thinks he can get away with it. They said Gaddafi. I heard a person that knows Gaddafi said he considers himself to be Lawrence of Arabia right now, fighting the imperialist. Oh, really? And the, and the, most of the air, most of the, the the tribal leaders in all of South Africa are supporting Gaddafi against the United States. So. And Representative Giffords released his first post-shooting portrait. Okay, folks. I mean, I know a guy that was shot in the head. Basically, he, he, it took a long time to recover. Half of her face is paralyzed. They said she has a hard time communicating or recognizing people. And, you know, she's going home and they're going to do extensive outtreat. Now, if, I must say, if she had recovered as greatly as they said she did, they'd have shown her months ago. Mm -hmm. And she isn't recovered. She basically suffered massive brain injury. She can't communicate. She can't get around on her own. So she's basically anybody remember uh, Mr. Brady who was shot with Ronald Reagan? No. Basically, you're gonna look at that. She's gonna be semi paralyzed in some areas the rest of her life. It's not gonna change. And they're wanting her to run for the Senate seat of um, of Senator Kyle, who's uh, oh the, really? The, I mean, there's nobody gonna you know. They figure she can win without ever having to say a word. Well, here's part of it is. There's one thing when you like a person, but they're also supposed to represent you. I know, if she can't represent you. Mm -hmm. And House Democrats hoping Vino will quit on his own. Oh no, he didn't, he wasn't. Oh, guess what? Yeah, he's resigned. It says Vino's out. 
Well, yeah, well, that's that's the news of the day. That we, but no, because, but it's coming up in a few minutes. Yeah, no, because they said, well, they got pictures of him in women's underwear. They got pictures of uh, him, you know, uh, all sorts. They got hundreds and hundreds of naughty emails with people telling him we don't want to talk to you anymore about it. And you he, know, it almost sounds like, because it's coming out right now, it's almost like they were trying to get him to do something and he wouldn't, so now they're, they're releasing. Letting it, they're letting it all pile on him yeah. now. And the fact that, you know, he wasn't using capital resources while well, he's taking pictures of himself in the capital gym. He's sending the stuff over over government equipment, you know, so basically they said, well, I heard that, well, what other congressman or senate doesn't use it for private use? Mm -hmm. Well, when they get, get, okay, I always go back to a thing. I did work on a dirty dozen, folks. I always remember one thing that Lee Marvin said to Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson said, I didn't do anything wrong. And then Lee Marvin says, we all know that, but you got caught doing nothing wrong. Ooh. Yeah, that's the whole trick, folks. He got caught. When you get caught in a cookie jar, they, they have to throw you out because he's really, he, he, okay, well, he was serving a purpose to keep people off of Obama's back. That purpose went away, and now they have to get rid of him and then they go back after Bush and Republicans again. So, actually, they, he, did, they are blaming Bush and Republicans for Wiener's problems, though. They are? How is yeah. that? Because that's just, that's just the underlying. I mean, I, I I saw a thing yesterday talking about business. It's just going to be a love it. I mean, the guy, they just a, one of their uh, one of the Democrats economists. But she said, uh, I know what's going to be said. There is no reason to have this representative mm -hmm. of the setting over there. We just what we just said. Put a picture of her up, and we'll read the talking points. Well, if you cut payroll taxes for businesses, you're doing nothing but helping the very rich. And they said, Well, no, you're helping the businesses to hire more people. We all know that if you cut payroll taxes for the businesses, this money is going into the pockets of the rich. No, the Democratic Party, your president and your vice president and your and Nancy Pelosi and Reid, they're, they're supporting cutting. We, if you cut payroll taxes, so he said, you don't need to have anybody sitting there because they got talking points. <laughs> and they, they, um, they haven't sent out what he said. Eventually, they'll get the new talking points. Then you can have them sit there again. And they'll say, the people of the United States are demanding that we cut payroll taxes for businesses. They haven't got those talking points yet. Oh, yeah. okay. And report, couple of charges fencing 271 stolen Picassos. Okay. This is leapfrog Obama. You tell me how you can fence 270 of anybody's artwork. And they're, these are stolen. Uh, it, it can't be done. It's an impossible. You might be able to get a piece here and there of somebody, you know, someone famous work and do it, but if 270, let's say... Uh, Something let's, doesn't sound that, quite right. You know, you know, we go from leapfrog to pure BS, folks. Mm. And Obama visits Puerto Rico with one with eye on U.S. voters. Well, I mean, I heard what he's talking. He's talking independence for Puerto Rico. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, oh, I know. He's talking because they're, they're, he thinks he can get the Latino vote. While he's talking independence for them, they're burning American flags. And saying down with the United States, oh, the really? government just want to take over the country. So that they don't want to be independent. Puerto Rico wants to be a state, mm -hmm. and Congress has been fighting statehood for them for years. That's why they're somewhat upset. Puerto Rico, almost all of Puerto Rico's money comes from the United States. If they drop out, they can't pay for any of their services. There's no tax base in the country. They get the money from the United States for their for their utilities, for their roads, for their education, so they cannot afford to get rid of the United States. And Obama to appoint a commission to find out why home sales are so bad. Yeah, I got it. They said, well, you don't need a commission for that. Well, no. The, the basically, the market's up on the fact that Obama's appointing a commission. Uh, they said, well, let's put it this way, you can't borrow money to buy a home. <gasps> that could be a good reason. Uh, the, you have to have too much down to buy a home. It's just uh, if, I, And people aren't working. No, it's not, not enough people no, are working. Basically, it's back. If this, is, this is how they, you used to buy homes when my father was building homes. If you could reach into your pocket and pull out enough money to pay for the home in cash, you could get a home loan. But the problem was they couldn't sell homes because people couldn't do that. So the banks started getting more liberal, and then uh, Clinton came along and made this so basically if you work for McDonald's, you could buy a home in Brentwood. Mm. The problem isn't that the people couldn't afford the payments on the homes. The problem came the Democrats threatened to raise taxes on people, 
when they threatened to raise all these taxes, the people had to make a choice. Do we pay the higher price of gas so we can go to work, or do we pay the home payments which we could barely pay? Mm -hmm. They chose to keep their job. And Wisconsin Supreme Court up, uh, court upholds controversial union law. Oh, but they just went, they, uh, they simply went to federal court now saying that the, the Supreme Court of Wisconsin, which is actually headed by a Democrat, uh, uh, and they were, half of them were appointed by Democrats, were in error and they were supporting with the corrupt George Bush administration and they're going to federal court to overturn the ruling and then they, they basically attack the Capitol again and show you what Democrats do. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain and the animal kingdom. You know, you know you're getting old when the, when the other person you're with tells you you're performed as well as a munchkin in the Wizard of Oz.